All right, what are we looking at? As usual, hopefully it's not too windy. The wind's blowing. It's always blowing when I'm outside. What's up with that? Anyways, we're doing an update on the 99WJ, okay? What have we got accomplished so far? I've got some tidbit footage of installing interior pieces. Uh, I got all the lower stuff done for the most part. Um, I gotta still do the headliner and the upper pillars, but you don't do those until you get your headliner in. But we got the interior in, and as I stated, it was kind of like a puzzle piece because I, I didn't know which bolt goes where, so we kind of had to sort through that and figure out what was what. Uh, the seat belts, the front seat belts, I bet I redid those four times. Wrong seat belt bolt in the wrong spot, had to undo it. Had it run in the wrong direction, had to undo it. Didn't have it coming out the plastic the right way, had to undo it. So that was, uh, that took a few times. Um, one, every seat is in, all the seats are in. I, uh, missing one seat belt bolt, upper bolt in the back. So I can't have anybody sit there until I get that bolt. I'll either have to go to the, to the, uh, junkyard and find one or get on eBay or something and find one. So I am missing that bolt. Um, okay, so we've been driving this to work a couple weeks now. It's let me down a couple times. Okay, first off, before we get to that, we are going to name this truck, this Jeep. I keep saying truck, but you know, Jeep. The name of this Jeep is going to be, so the name of our first truck, you already know this because we've told you this in previous video. The name of my first truck, it was a 1967 Ford Ranger. This was back when Rangers were big trucks, not little trucks. It was a 1967 Ford Ranger that several, a couple of my uncles and my sister learned how to drive on. It was all beat up. So uh, it was called Black Tragic. And that truck was called Black Tragic. And it had that bull on the back glass etched. So we've decided to name this. Black Tragic 2.0. Black Tragic 2.0. We etched it. It's uh, been christened. It's officially named Black Tragic 2.0. Got my little bull there on the window. I may do a big one in the back. Something similar to what I can remember that was on the original Black Tragic. Black Tragic. What a name for a vehicle. This thing has had some tragedies so far. So I went to the gas station. Uh... Close to the first week of driving it, went to the gas station, turned it off, went to get gas, went and start back up. It's like, great. Some gentleman there was helpful enough to help me uh, get it going. We determined that it wasn't getting good grounding. So I took it home, threw a couple ground straps on it. Okay, we're good to go. Drove it to work. Died on the way to work. I was able to get it back to work. Did this two or three times on the way to work. It would just die. It'd get going. It'd make it about halfway to work. By the time it warmed up, I guess, it would just kind of die. And gauges would go out. Gauges would go crazy. Um, so I was like, oh, man. I either got a computer problem or I still got grounding issues. Took it home again. Added even more grounding cables. So we've got a few good grounding cables on this thing now. And I've driven it for a week with no problems. Um, uses a little more gas than the Nissan did. I figured it out at 13 miles per gallon in this thing. And the Nissan was getting uh, about 17. So, cost me a little more in gas. But, uh, so we'll give you a, a view of the inside of what we've got done. It looks good. I actually kept the original carpet. The guy said the original carpet was pretty nasty. Uh, it's got some especially in the back it's got some grease stains where they probably hauled car parts but I'm gonna be getting in it it's gonna be getting uh, used it's gonna be used in the woods I'll probably haul car parts in it um, but it looks really good to me I think it looks it came out good I didn't put the new carpet down the new carpet was thin aftermarket probably and it looked like it was gonna be a pain in the butt to put down so I just put the original carpet back in put some floor mats on it um, may get some nice weather tech ones eventually but for now we just put the cheapo cheapos in that I already had 
Um, seats look excellent. They are nice. Nice black leather, comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable vehicles I've ridden in here lately. And it has cup holders. I haven't been driving in a vehicle with cup holders in forever. So now I can drink coffee on my way to work. So that's nice. So, uh, one more thing uh, while we're here. Uh, another thing that's wrong with it, I've got to get a new drive shaft for the front. It's got the old style, uh, I don't know if they're called prep jerks, CVs. And anytime you lift a lift, lift a Jeep up with that, the joint usually goes bad. So I gotta change that to a double cardigan. That's on the list to do. So right now we're actually two wheel drive. We don't have that front wheel drive shaft in. Um, and if you remember in the first video I talked about, I wasn't for sure if it was a quadra drive or if it was select track. So it's got quadra drive axles in it. It was originally quadra drive, the whole system. And the person swapped out the transfer case for a select track, which is actually a nicer transfer case, which allows you to go into two wheel drive. Quadra drive meant that it was always in four wheel drive, all wheel drive, all the time. So I can switch into two wheel drive with this uh, select track, but I still have the nicer axles that have a barrel lock. You know, and all that. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, I've got another video coming up. We're working on the front bumper. I'm building a bumper. I kept the top grill portion, cut that out of the original. That's the only thing that's going to stay. I am building a metal beefier bumper with lights. We've got a video coming. We've been working on that. So let's give you a tour of the inside so far, minus the headliner. This thing looks pretty good, in my opinion, to, for what we had. Everything gutted. I think that's it. All right, let's start with the back here. So I've still got those lights from the um, up top. We'll put those in when we put in our headliner. Those are still plugged up back here. So this is the worst part of the carpet. It's obviously got grease stains on it. I don't care. Underneath is the storage. This is where the original tire would have gone. I picked me up a cheapo bag from Harbor Freight and filled it up with tools, jumper cables, pull strap, toe strap. Um, I picked up a set of, I uh, already had a bunch of tools, sockets, and then I uh, picked up a set of cheap metric wrenches at Harbor Freight. This thing takes uh, metric and standard, but you can get by with mostly metric, so I picked that set up first. That is the back. Right here is where the original CD changer used to go. I am thinking about incorporating a subwoofer there later at a later date. Got to have some boom. Probably take the boom out of the Nissan and uh, incorporate that sub in there somewhere sometime. Um, so I got to figure out what to do with the tire. I really don't want to put it on the back of the tailgate. So I'm thinking about either mounting it sideways in here or we'll do a roof rack eventually and uh, throw it on the roof. For now, I'll just throw it in the back probably though. And I've got to get some sort of jack for that. Moving on to the rear passengers. Needs a vacuum. I got Xander's chair in there already. Nice leather. It's pretty clean. And here we are with the front. Once again, we've got some nice leather chairs. They are very comfortable. Still got to get a radio. I was going to see about putting my single den in there, but uh, somebody's already put a double den in here. And to put a double den in here, you've got to cut out top portion of this radio holder, so I can't put a single den in there more. I gotta get a double den radio to put in there. Nice fancy chairs and cup holders. And this is the select track. 
So, uh, I'm thinking about doing a CB install video. Here come Christmas break. Probably do a CB stall video for you all. But that is it for now. Interior mostly done, minus the headliner, but it looks really good. I'm happy with what I've uh, got here now. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Our little window etching.